I do have me a new project here. What do you do with your old popcorn tin after Christmas? Well, you get a bag of sawdust and a pipe. Center your pipe. Mark that. Cut it out to the size of the pipe. I'll show you what's next. So the hole's cut. Now we're just going to set this in the hole. And then we're going to pack sawdust all around that. We're going to get it in as tight as we can, though. We've got to have it good and tight. So this is the first fill. And now I'm going to mash it down. I want it mashed all the way everywhere. So take your time doing this. We go with our second mashing. We get a couple more bunches in there. We've got lots of sawdust, so we're good to go here. We'll just get this mashed in good. So, figured I'd better show you how to fill it. Ooh, that's hard. I knew if I didn't show you, you wouldn't figure it out. Get you a handful, drop it in. Get you a handful, drop it in. Continue till it's full, even over full. Mash it down a little bit. Get some more. Let me go over the top with this. You want it good and tight. What we're creating is a sawdust rocket stove. And this will burn, they say, for about six to eight hours, depending what kind of fuel you have and a couple conditions, how big your hole is. Mash it down a little bit more with the hammer. And I just happen to have a tin cup of nasty wax. That'll work perfect. Don't want anything use anything good. Got our little alcohol stove here we're gonna heat it up in. Yeah, the wife won't let me in the house, so i got to do it outside. Probably a smart move, too. Get that out of the way. And I think i got a lighter here somewhere. tell whether alcohol lights or not, whether there's flame, heat. There we go. Okay, it's bloomed. So we'll go ahead and put on our wax. I'll find my pliers so I can pull that off here again in a minute, but getting right at that wax already. Good thing it's nasty old wax. look for a fire extinguisher. Hmm. Now we're going to try and pull this out of here. See, I've got a hole cleaned down to the bottom there. So all the way through. So I'm going to get some sawdust 
underneath there before I try pouring any wax in. And I'm going to pour it around the edge here and kind of let it soak in. Sorry. Good use for that nasty old wax. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, pour it and turn it. So we've got it waxed up. Poured the wax around the edges, tipping the can to do that. So I'll go ahead and uh, turn this back over and we'll get us our car rim without a tire. And we'll set it on it so it gets uh, the oxygen it needs to burn. Well, I didn't think that rim would come in handy for anything anymore. But it does uh, dish up. It has a good center on it. It has good holes on the side. And that sits on there nicely. Well, good idea or not, I think I'm going to put a tuna can under here with some heat in it. Not much. I'll see if I can uh, light this mess with that. This is the thing about alcohol, you can't see it burn, but it's definitely burning. So you have to be so very careful with it. And I feel the heat coming up. So we'll set this on here. Oh yeah. I see flame coming up at already. Watch what I'm doing with the camera. Yep, got flame coming up. It got stuff dropping down into the pan, some of the wax. That'll definitely ignite it. Yep, it's going pretty good there. It's only been going about a minute. I see a good column of flame coming up there. That would be a perfect time to put on a pot of beans or start your potatoes or whatever. We'll keep an eye on this. Well, we've been burning for about five minutes here and it's calming down a little bit. Got flame coming up the top. Of course it's burning on top. That kind of... I don't know that I saw that on the other video. It's burning on top. Of course I, there was wax when I dumped it upside down so it could be... We'll see how long that lasts. But I do have uh, oxygen coming up to the center like it should be and all the smoke's burning off so I'm thinking that's going to be a good fire. Well, I put a grate on top, and it put the fire out at the top, but you see it glowing red down inside? Yeah, baby. I'm going to go ahead and light this smoke. There we go. It is glowing inside and putting off some smoke. That burns at the top. I put this uh, little grate over it just to see what it would do. It actually put out the flame on top that was holding the smoke in check. So there's very little smoke coming off of this and just glowing red, like I say, down inside. This may last eight hours.
I'm thinking I like it. This has been going about 15 minutes now, and it's put itself out on the top. But you can see it glowing red down inside. My drawback right now is uh, the smoke. You know, obviously, if you're outside sitting around it, it's not going to be any worse than a campfire. doesn't want to light. Obviously this isn't for inside your tent either. Well, it's been about 15 minutes and the fire coming off the top has died down. I put a metal grate on it just because I couldn't get the smoke to light anymore. I'm going to sit on some aluminum stays. I don't know what the heck these things are. Just to keep oxygen flowing. And I've got my test subject, my cow, with water in it. And right now is uh, 2.31, 2.32. I'm not sure how much heat comes out of it. But I am going to test the uh, theory that it'll be able to cook off of it. See it glowing red in there. Just like all the other experiments, it does help to have a wind screen around it. That's what we get. We've got a fairly windy day here, so it should uh, keep some of the wind off of the pot and let it heat up. This is the outdoor kind of stuff you have to do. And as you can see down inside there, yeah, it's nice and red. It's boiling out that heat. Came out here, it's an hour later. The windscreen had fallen off, so I just put it back on. Yeah, it falls off easily. But look at the big hole down the center of it now. This thing is working great. Lots of heat coming off of it. It has uh, dropped down inside, so obviously the top is burning also a little bit. But I do have hot water. We'll just see the steam coming off of it there. It's not boiling water, but it's definitely hot water. I'll put the windscreen back on it here. Now that's uh, been burning just, uh, just over an hour. The hole is bigger inside. So here we are at the uh, two hour mark. Looks like we've got uh, another couple hours maybe to go. I've taken the cow off just because the screen's dropping down inside a little bit and I don't want it to catch fire if it drops down in very far. I'm watching it from the kitchen window, but we'll be safe and just let it uh, sit here and burn by itself. That screen will drop down inside as it goes. That'll be good. No problem with the rim. As you can see, there is a much bigger cone inside it. It's burning great, though. Well, it's 4.30. So it's been going two and a half hours. Here we are at three hours. We're not to the outside. We're not burning any of the paint off yet. Kind of dark, I know. I think we're going to have a couple more hours of uh, good heat out of that, though. I 
Now it's raining outside. You can see the glow down inside there. Got a little bit of smoke coming off, but it's fairly under good conditions and not out of control at all. It's not burning the paint on the outside yet. I think it's very controllable.